Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Accounting with Naomi. This is the only place that accountant gets to understand what's going on. <laughs> it's the only place if you want to learn accounting, if you want to know how to use your accounting systems, it's the only place to be. Welcome back to the series of Sage 50 Pastel um, Accounting that we've been working on. We did our first uh, two videos and now I want to show you in this video how to edit your chart of accounts. In other words, how to add account if i want to add an account that is not already in the system how do i go about it stay tuned let's go all right guys so i want to edit my chart of account or i want to add accounts how do i do that okay so you go to the main menu that says edit you click on edit general ledger account and then you click on it awesome right then it will open up the account pops up right so i want to add in my items okay because this is going to be different for everybody we're all running a different business everybody's doing uh, selling different products or different services so it will not exactly uh, meet my needs so i have to bring in my products okay so let's say this is accounting with naomi and accounting with naomi sells uh textbooks laptops software the the pastel software or the sage software and then they have tutorial services all right so those are the product that i do which is not done by other businesses or not done exactly like that so what do i do now to edit my account the first thing i have to do from my sales i have to make sure that i include verts okay so let's say i'm a vet um registered company and i want to charge verts so the first thing is to include vets. How do I do that? If you look at the very first thing I see, once you get into account, the very, very account that you see, very first account you see is the sales account. So every time I make sales, I want to charge vets. How do I do that? I go to the bottom where it says text processing, right? There's a drop-down arrow. You click on the drop-down arrow, select default, the second option, default text type. Then this comes across it, okay? There's a tab that comes across it. It says zero, type zero. You click on the drop down arrow and select 15. So you're going to select 15. Why 15? Because VAT is currently charged at 15%. Okay, in South Africa, VAT is currently charged at 15%. So that's what I use. Initially, it was 14%. So we no longer use 14%. It's charged at 15%. So I'll make default 15. I select that and I save. All right, that's the first thing you do. So you know that with my sales, every time I'm going to charge VAT, and then also with cost of sales. So I'm going to click on next at the top. It takes me to cost of sales. I do the same with cost of sales as well. I know that VAT is going to be charged, and we have to account for it when calculating our cost of sales. So I go to the bottom that says tax processing. The drop-down arrow, you click on the drop-down arrow. Select the second option, default tax type. And then this appears... Um, you click on again the um, drop down arrow and you select 15. Why? Same reason because VAT is charged at 15% currently in South Africa. So we then um, select that and we click on save. Right. Right. Once that is done, I want now to add my accounts. Okay. I want to add my accounts uh, that I am going to uh, be using in my business. Right, so what I'll do now, I'm going to add my account. I go to the option that says add. You see the one with the cross, I click on it. Awesome. I want to start with my sales. So for all this product that I was talking about, uh, textbooks, laptops, software, and tutorial services, I want to bring them all um, for sales, for cost of sales, and for inventory. All right? Because once you make sales, you know that cost of sales are going to be affected. And of course, inventory is affected. So the three, I'll create specifically my own account according to my product. Right. The main account of sales, we all saw it was 1,000. So if you're going to um, type in 1,000. And then you press enter. Or you can also use tab. Now, this comes in. It gives you a message. You're about to create the first sub account for the main account. Yes, I want to do. Do you want to continue? I click on yes. And then the sub account, I can use 100 or I can use 0, 1, 0. It depends on whatever you want to use. I'll use 100. This represents my very first items on sales. Okay. So if I'm making a sale, I'll choose between the product. It makes it easy for me. Which product am I selling? Books. It will give me sales on books. And the price, if I have to put in different prices on my books, the prices will also pitch and so forth. I'll teach you how to add prices and stuff later. Right. 
So let's say the account. So the very first one, it's um 100, so it's 1,000. The sub account is 100. And then the description, I want to put sales for textbooks. So I can sales dash textbooks. Right, and then that's all you do, and then you save. You can see here, it already tells you what a type of income statement it is. It's the main account, the income statement account, and it tells you the type it's sales, so we are fine. We don't have to make anything. The, it also shows us the, the, the text type here. It's VAT, so we are fine. The only thing we're changing is the main account, uh, the sub accounts, and the description. All right, so save. Click save at the top. Now, this account has now become part of the accounts uh, that are already set in Pastel. All right. So I'll go to the second one. I'm still in sales. Um, so it's 1,000. Again, enter. 200 this time. This is the next product, which is my laptop, which is laptops that I sell. So we go sales dash laptops. Right. That's it. Every other um, settings are already in place. So I'm just going to select save. I go to the third one. My third item is a software. Again, the main account is 1,000. The sub account is 300. Um, the account description, again, it's sales dash laptops. And save. Right. Then the last one is the service that I provide, which is tutorial services. The main account is 1,000. The sub account is... Um, so we it was 300. This is now... Um, 300, sorry, we are now doing software. So it's 300 and then, okay, so this exists. That means we did it. So it's 400 and then the description here, it's sales. So if we have already done it to show you that it already exists and this is tutorial services. All right, services and save. All right, so for sales, I'm done. All right, I want to do the same with cost of sales and I want to do the same with inventory. Cost of sales main account, we saw that when we're doing the default text type. So it's 2000, I'm going to put in 2000. Um, Again, it's now this is the first sub account I'm about to do. So you select yes, and then you put in the very first sub account is 100. My very first product is textbooks. So it's going to be cost of sales dash textbooks. And save everything else is there in place. The second item is laptops. So 2000, enter, 200, enter. And then this is cost of sales. Cost of sales, I add laptops. And save. Right. Then the next one is software. So I get what 2000, enter 300, enter cost of sales, and softwares. Right, and save. Then the last one is a service item that we provide the tutorial services. The main account again for cost of sales is 2000, enter. The sub account is 400 and uh, the description, this is tutorial services, cost of sales, dash tutorial services. Okay, make sure you're typing correctly, right, and then you save. So I did this for sales. I did this for cost of sales. And I'm going to lastly do it for inventory because the three are affected whenever I sell occurs, all right? Or whenever we are purchase, purchasing inventory. When you purchase inventory, cost of sales and inventory are going to be affected. When we, we sell inventory, cost of sales and sales is affected as well as inventory. So all, all the three are affected. Therefore, we do that for all three of them. Now for inventory, the main account for inventory is double seven zero zero. Enter. Again, remember this message will always pop up whenever I want to create a sub account because the main account is already there. I want to create a sub account. So it will always pop up. So I say, yes, I want to continue. The first product, I'm still going to use 100 uh, for the sub account. The first product is, is textbooks. So I'll start now. Inventory. Inventory, I want to do uh, textbooks. 
Right, and you can already see the category is there. It's a balance sheet item, inventory, inventory on hand. So it's fine. I'm just going to save. All right, and then um, again, we go to the next product, which is laptops. I'm still with inventory, so it's double seven zero zero. Enter. The sub account is 200. Enter. The description, it's inventory. Inventory or inventory, if you put it like that. <laughs> All right. Um, this time we're dealing with, um, the, is, the next one is laptops. Oh, sorry, laptops. Let me just do that. Right, and then save. Then the third one is softwares. So we go the main account again is double seven zero zero. Um, uh, this is the th uh, three hundred. The third item. Um, it's software. So inventory dash software. And you save. Then the last one on inventory double seven zero zero. Enter four hundred. Enter. Account description, inventory, dash, tutorial services. All right, and then you save. All right, let's say now you want to add also uh, maybe an equity account, like say, say share capital is not maybe in your default. But it's always ideal to always go and check your um, accounts that are default and accounts that are not. All right, let's say a share capital is not default and I want to add share capital. Okay, so it's different. This is out of the product. This is just me adding an account that is not there. All right, so share capital, I should create an, um, an account number that is not in a list of any of the accounts that I did. Let's say 5100. Enter. If it's not there, it will automatically put sub account triple zero. If it's there, it will tell you, or it it will um, the sub account will be either open or it will tell you that it's already there. Okay. So if the sub account is grayed out and put triple zero, that means the account is not there. So I'm good to go. Account description: share capital. All right. This is a balance sheet um item. That's correct. And then so I'm going to change uh, change here. What balance sheet item is this? I'm going to look for share capital. There is it, share capital B10. And then on report uh, report writing writer, I'll also look for share capital. There it is, number 40. All right, so I change all of this. You don't have to put VAT for this. You don't need to not processing VAT on this. So it's not necessary to put any text on this. You are fine with the way it is, and then you select save. All right, so that's if I want to put in an um, equity item. Okay, this is just an example. Another um, item, let's say, for example, um, you have, for example, a, a, a property plants and equipment item like your equipment, um, which are not in the default uh, accounts, general accounts. Let's say I've got installation equipment, okay? So I can create an account for that as well. My installation equipment that I use when people want to install my software, um, you know, or I help people to install software, whatever the case is. I can use my installation equipment. So we're gonna create an account for it first. So six, let's say six five zero zero. Enter. Right, because it's the first time it does accept it. As you can see, the sub account it gives me a triple zero and it's grayed out. So it is the very first time you're putting in this account. Then the description here, I'm gonna say installation equipment. installation equipment all right and then it's a balance sheet item that's correct i'm going to change here now all right so i don't want it to say that i want it to say fixed assets okay so i select fixed assets property plants and equipment a ppe item and then by fixed asset i want it to be on group one other assets all right i want it to be on group one other assets fine then once i've done that i can then select save but now remember Installation, when you have a PP item, we need to show uh, the PP item at cost and we need to show the PP item at accumulated depreciation. All right, so I'll continue with the main account, 6500. You see, this is already existing. Check what will happen when I press enter. You see, it does not give me the triple zero. It does not gray out. It is open. 
All right, that means the account already exists. If we give you the description that I had initially created, that it is an installation equipment. On the installation equipment, I want to further create the cost account and the accumulated depreciation account. So uh, I'm going to use my sub account. I'm going to use 010, enter. This one, I want this to be at cost. So installation equipment. at cost all right and then i can save everything else is there the fixed asset what not you do that when you create the account for the first time not when you are adding on top of the account right so then i save then i create accumulated depreciation as well still using the main account 6500 enter i'm going to use 020 for my accumulated accumulated depreciation so it's installation equipment installation equipment and um i want this dash accumulated depreciation you don't have to write it in full just write in the way that you will understand okay as i should remember this is an accumulated depreciation item so you write it like that right every other details are already fine then i can save you can create any account that you need these are just examples of what i'm giving you that you can actually uh um create all right so those um examples now how do i check the other accounts i can click on edit all right if you click on edit or if you, even if you click on search you see search especially search what search is doing is giving me all the possible accounts that are already in the system like, for example, I've got an accounting fees. There's the account number. There's the account description. I've got adverti um, advertising and promotions. I've got bad debt. I've got bad debt recovered. I've got bank charges. I've got um, cash book transfers, which I created. Remember this, I created. I've got cleaning. I've got computer equipment. It cost, accumulated depreciation, and net value. I've got um, computer expenses. I've got consulting fees. Cost of sales, these are the what we created, remember? Cost of sales, laptops, software, textbooks, and tutorial services. This we created. They had um, cost of sales slash purchases, the main account. And then uh, career and postage, um, customer control, depreciations. Even depreciation I can create for different accounts if I wish. Uh, or I can make it general. I can do uh, sub accounts for depreciation. It's really up to you. It depends on what you need in your business. And you've got direct cost manufacturing variance, discount allowed for cash, discount received for cash, donations, electricity and water, um, entertainment expenses, finance charges, furniture and fittings at costs, accumulated depreciation and net value, general expenses. Okay. Uh, now, these general expenses are expenses that you cannot really tell what they are. All right. Then they've got goodwill or intangible assets. They've got uh, GRN, uh, GRN accrual accounts. They've got installation. This is what we created, right? This is what we created. Installation equipment uh, at cost and accumulated depreciation. Uh, installment sales creditors, insurance, um, interest paid, and so forth. The inventory, the inventory we created, all of them are the landed buildings, so forth and so forth. This is where you actually get to check all the items that you have um already so from here if there's an account that you need to use and it's not here then you create it i showed you how to create it so that's how we do it all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh please do like our video and also check out other other videos that are already um in our youtube channels check them out watch them share with families and friends like our videos comment ask us questions what would you like us to do uh, what videos would you like? I recommend that we do for you. We are here for you. And remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. If this is your first time, you're welcome. Please do subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification button so that every time we have a video, you can get notified of our video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.